class is in session. Let's do it. The last person I was dating, I thought we had good connection. He was the one that I went on the date with and, you know, great conversation and everything. She's in her forties. I'm just saying in her forties, you can see you can, I've watched so many of these videos. You can see when they're in their forties, you should not be dating at 40. Maybe you should settle down. But then again, too many options, everything. We hung out quite a few times and then out of nowhere, he just stopped messaging me. They yeah. What's the difference between him doing that and you doing that to so many guys? Basically, he goes to me. At what age does that not occur? And can we not be adults? Can't you just say, hey, I'm not interested? You know what's funny? When she's doing it, then it's fine. When she's not interested, then it's fine. But if we just say, no, we have standards for ourselves and we're like, no, nah, we just want to bang. We don't really want to hang out like that. Then it becomes a big thing. So <laughs> that's what happens. Welcome back from the castle. You know, you're, you're hanging out with the peasants now. This happens to men all the time, all the time. We are constantly approaching. You approach a girl, she disses you. No, I don't like the way you look. I don't like that shirt. I don't like this. I don't like that. He was too, he was too energetic. He was too calm. He was brah. And guess what? When she hits her forties, guys like, bro, why? Cause she's 40, my guy. I don't get it. Do they not know that that hurts the other person's feelings? Like, I don't know. Like, I think I'm just done for a while. <laughs> Hey guys, if your person's showing up and doesn't seem to be super romantic. Jesus. Then again, 50 maybe. Or super into you or super pursuing you. And you'd like to create that in your reality. You can, okay? Nothing is set in stone. Okay? Wait, are you going to try to manipulate them? Okay. You want to stop saying that person's not romantic, okay? Or that's going to perpetuate. So you want to change that story as well as look at your intentions and self-concept and what you're saying about yourself. She's not even put together. Think of it like women before when they were 50, they were put together. They were very organized and very ladylike. Oh, that's not ladylike. Like there was a standard. Now, bro, you get this. This is what you get. In your self-worth. That's dumb. That is a dumb, stupid, dumb idea. I think that our looks just change as we age. You know, I'm... 40, nah, nah, nah. This is 50, bro. This is 50. 50, I'm an old broad. Oh my God, I guessed it, bro. I fucking guessed it. Um, But I... I still feel good about how I look. I know I don't look 20, but, um, and obviously I do a fair bit of crap to myself to feel good, just like I did when I was 20. It's just different crap. Um, and I see women. But the crazy thing is like, she used to be attracted before she used like, okay, if we were just to rank her, I would, I would say before she was maybe what, like a eight. 20s but now bro now is her older in their 70s um and i think that they look great different have you guys noticed like every single video like this it's always about them it's either the guy they're dating or how they look or how they feel that's it those are the th th that's practically it there is no video of a woman like this, which sits down and says, okay, we need to have a chat about um, being in your fifties and some of the mistakes, which I did, and I don't want you to do the same mistakes. So we're going to start. I did this, this was wrong. This was wrong. This was wrong. This was wrong. Accountability doesn't exist. It's about me. Oh, I'm not attractive anymore. Oh, bruh. I think if we were sitting down and doing all of this shit, shit would never like nothing would ever get done. But great. You keep telling yourself that. Marriage is hard and till death do us part. Those were created to trap women in marriages that they hate. Those were created to ma manipulate women into thinking. Oh, 
Ah, shit. Some people, they never learn. It's not that it was created to manipulate women. That's not why marriage was created. It was actually created so everybody could have a piece of the pie. That, that being miserable in a marriage where you are centering another person and all your needs are, are not that important, it normalizes that. It this is just a selfish person. Stay away from women like this. She's in her 50s and just bitter. Makes you not question that. Women's loyalty is exploited by the in institution of marriage. Our nurturing, all the shit we've been taught that that's what we're so good at. They're counting on us. They're relying on us to buy into that. Bro, just look at, look, look just behind her. Do you see that? It's dirty. The husband is gone or I, she's, she's divorced. 100%. I can, <laughs> I will, I will bet at least 10,000 that she's divorced. So that we stay in relationships with men so that they can go do their thing and we just come along and clean up after them so that we make their home and their world. My question is, why don't you just, you don't do that? I would understand if you hate men and you, you want nothing to do with men. I get that. Just be a independent boss woman and don't even focus on men and their children and their bedroom and everything in their life comfortable for them. So marriage is not hard for men. It's hard for us. If you are not in a marriage with a partner who values and for us, for us, for us, for us, it's hard for us. Respects you as much as they value and respect themselves and is not a teammate. Marriage is going to be real fucking hard, especially real fucking hard. Real hard. You know, the different thing about men and women is that men, we live in reality and we don't complain. You know, if a girl leaves us, what can we do? Go to the gym. That's it. If, if a guy were to put out a video like this, oh, you're a pussy. You're not a man. Guys, bro, it's crazy. I haven't seen one video when a guy is just sitting and complaining like, well, well, what are you going to do? You just say, Hey, I understand she left me, you know, let me, uh, let me hit the gym or let me start a YouTube channel or let me do that. Like, bro, you just do something, bro. Then you're just sitting, writing down. Okay. You meet the next girl and then, you know, it's like, it's just a matter of time because everything is about play fun i want to have a good time let's go out yay that's what they like and if they don't get that guess what they hate you oh you're not you're not satisfying my needs i have needs as well we're not talking about that a relationship is about the woman that's all it's about it's about her and she take and take and take and take until you have nothing left Think, think of an investment which just takes your money from you. It's like, oh, I got, think of this. You go to a business owner and you say, I got this new investment. I need you to invest in it. Okay, what's, what's going to happen? Well, give me a million and then I'm going to lose it. And then give me another million then I'm going to lose it. And you give me another million then I'm going to lose it. That's, that's a relationship. I know that the money which I spend in a relationship is gone, gone forever. So it's like giving to charity, you know, like, okay, that's it. And they don't understand that. They're not thinking like, oh my God, shit, last week we just went to Cabo. Then we came back. He's treating me good. Like, honestly, no, she thinks, well, I could get more. 